Hi everyone, today I would like to talk about HDL, high density lipoprotein. Now, this is known as the good cholesterol. As everyone knows, the more HDL you have, the lower is your cardiovascular risk. Now, that is true. But what some people may not realize is that there is such, such a thing as too much of a good thing. Meaning, if your HDL is too high, it can be counterproductive. There has been studies that have shown when your HDL is too high, you actually at a higher risk of having heart disease as well. So, what is the good target HDL? Well, normal HDL should be more than 1 millimeters per liter. And if you have HDL up to 1.4, 1.5, it's fine. Now, if your HDL is beyond 2.2, 2.5 millimeters per liter, meaning a very high HDL levels, there has been studies to show that you are at an increased uh, risk of having heart attacks and strokes as well. So I think that's why it's important that when we do our blood test, we look at individual LDL and HDL readings. Patients who are looking at the HDL-LDL ratio, and because the ratio is good, because they have a lot of HDL, they think that that will counter the effects of the bad cholesterol. That may not be the case. If you have very high HDL, that's too high, does not help as well. So I think it's important to realize that. That is why I actually don't like looking at the ratios, and I actually prefer to look at the HDL and LDL components separately. Studies have also shown that if you medications to increase the HDL, all the studies so far have been negative, meaning uh, medicines to increase the HDL have not been shown to confer mortality benefits. So I'll be a bit careful about focusing on HDL. I will increase my exercise as a natural way to improve my HDL, but there are no medications that you can take to actually boost your HDL levels. More importantly, address your LDL, get it as low as possible regardless of the HDL levels.